Uh, today is one of those days where I'm reminded of the quote, 80% of life is just showing up <laughs> or 80% of success is just showing up. Uh, enter, I enter, um, change the two, depending on what's going on. Um, that, I have to tell myself that sometimes at work. And today it's for yoga class. Uh, and I know that for many of us from time to time in whatever practice that we have, whether, you know, if we, we set a goal and this is the, the start of the new year where we, a lot of folks set intentions for the year where I'm going to do this and I, and I'm, I'm going to do this consistently and you're feeling motivated and then times come where you kind of fall off track with that and you just don't feel like it <laughs> or uh you know you um you know you have you have ups and downs and it's part of life it's part of the journey um a few steps forward a few steps back, uh, but overall keeping it moving and um, and reminding ourselves that everything counts. <laughs> you know, uh, that that's one of my favorite things to remember too. And so when it comes to coming to the mat, you know, showing up on the mat, sometimes that may be you know, well, I, I'm just going to roll out the mat and sit here. <laughs> um, or I'm going to take a moment to just breathe. Or I'm, I'm just going to watch the yoga class online and listen. <laughs> I may not do the poses or do, do the asana practice. But um, I'm going to listen for a little bit, maybe even, you know, five minutes. I'm going to breathe along with uh, others. Or I'm going to take a moment to just be still and be present right now. So uh, for me today, you know, usually I have a, a topic that I plan and I talk about and share an article and all that sort of jazz. But I just couldn't bring my, I just couldn't bring myself to, to do that, you know? And um, it's like, I just, I don't know why I just can't, but I'm going to show up today and be here. And that's what yoga is about. It's really about now. It, that's, that is the practice is being present here and now and doing our best, um, letting go of expectations um, and being here. So let's do it. Uh, thank you for joining and um, let's, let's settle in. I invite you to close the eyes. Bring awareness right here and now. Noticing sound and space, allowing whatever is right now to be, whatever feelings are there, whatever state of mind we may be in. Helen Keller said, everywhere there are wonders, even in darkness and silence. And so I find that no matter what state I may be in, therein to be content. So just allowing whatever is right now to be. Witnessing. And 
whatever anchors you in this presence, whether it be sound that you notice near and far, whether it be sensations, sense of feeling the body against the earth and air and clothes or internal sensations in the body. The breath, which is often a good anchor or a general sense of awareness. But I invite you to bring awareness to the breath. How it enters and exits the body. How the body responds. Back of the throat. The chest as it rises and falls the belly as it expands and contracts, or a sense of the whole body breathing. without any effort right now in terms of trying to control the breath. Really just being a witness here and allowing whatever fluctuations, whatever rhythm is there, whatever changes in the rhythm. inviting and allowing it to be. Now for a pranayama practice, which is a practice of expanding and uh, constricting the breath. We'll just do samavritti breathing, which is an even inhale and exhale, and here to a count of four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, Four. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. Now maintaining that same even rhythm of the breath. Let's meet on all fours to begin cat cow poses. On the inhale. Drop the belly, curl the heart open and tailbone to the sky. Then exhale, reverse the pose, arching the spine towards the sky. Tuck the tailbone, chin towards chest. Inhale, reversing to cow pose once again, opening the heart, 
the tailbone towards the sky and reversing, following the rhythm of your own breath as we begin to connect movement with breath, waking up the body. And here, we might begin the ujjayi breath, which is an audible breath where we constrict the back of the throat as if we're fogging up a mirror or whispering to someone across the room. With lips closed. And inhale, come to neutral spine. And exhale, settling here. Inhale, raise the left hand into the sky, opening up the heart. And here, open up the knees into a wide stance. And on the exhale, weave the left hand through and come to rest on the shoulder. Threading the needle here, breathing. And if you want to deepen the twist, you might take the right hand and bring it around to grab hold to the left thigh and pulling ourselves further into the twist. Inhale, planting that right hand on the ground, and exhale, come back to neutral on all fours. Inhale, reach the right hand to the sky, open the heart, and exhale, weave it through to rest on the shoulder, the right shoulder, staying here and breathing or reaching the left hand around to grab hold to the right thigh. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, planting the left hand on the ground, exhale, come back to all fours, inhale, lengthening the spine, and exhale, push back to child's pose, with the knees spread wide or close together, whatever feels good for you, toes may be touching or overlapping, Bring forehead to the ground. If that feels good, stretch the hands out. Settling into the earth. Grounding. And feeling supported here. Remembering we can always return to this supported and resting posture at any point in our practice. Inhale forward, stack shoulders over wrists. And exhale, stretch the right foot out behind as if you're kicking a wall behind you. And you may stay here, practicing 
strengthening in the core, really engaging the belly and engaging the leg, strong and straight. Or you may also reach the opposite left hand out in front, balancing here. Inhale, exhale. And you can stay here in this balance, working and playing, or move into a flow. Inhale on lengthening the leg and arm out and exhale, contracting, bringing elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthening and exhale, bring it in. Following once again the rhythm of your breath. Showing up in whatever state we may be in right now. And on the exhale, come to neutral hands and both knees on the ground. Inhale. Lengthening the crown and the spine and exhale. Opposite side, inhale, reaching left foot out behind like you're kicking a wall there and staying here or reaching opposite hand out. Inhale, exhale and stay here or on your inhale, Lengthening here and exhale, elbow to knee. Once again, following the rhythm of the breath. And remembering uja breath. And on the next exhale, release the hand and knee to the ground. <clears throat> Inhale and exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, curl the heart forward, baby cobra. Point the toes. And exhale, push back, seat to heel. Remembering our connection Remembering the breath Inhale forward, stack the shoulders And exhale, push back, downward facing dog Sending the hips to the sky Our first down dog of the day, <clears throat> if you have, if your hamstrings don't allow you to straighten the legs all the way, it's all good. Bend the knees, and how about everyone uh, put a deep bend in the knees here? Spread the fingers wide, wrist creases are parallel with the front edge of the mat. Grounded in all four corners of the palm. Fingertips are curling into the earth. Curling the tailbone towards the sky, feeling that natural curve of the lumbar spine. And maintaining that curve, move the legs towards straight. So however far they go. Inhale. Exhale. And if it uh, feels better on the wrist to bring the forearms down to the ground, 
go for it. Inhale. Exhale. And here you might just uh, take some little micro movements since this is our first down dog. You might want to pedal out the feet. Or open the hips from side to side. Just find what feels good right now. Now come to stillness for a moment. Inhale. And exhale forward to plank pose. The knees may be grounded or lifted, but remain strong in the core, wherever you are. Strong in the core. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to lower down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Keeping the elbows close into the ribs and folding forward at a 90 degree angle at the elbows. Inhale and exhale. <laughs> Inhale, slide the hips and heart forward and up for upward facing dog. And exhale, push back to child's pose or downward facing dog. <laughs> Usually in uh, Chaturanga, when we say lower down, often people just uh, take that as an invitation to lower all the way down to the mat. <coughs> but Chaturanga is really one of the most challenging poses uh, if you don't have a lot of upper body strength like me. <laughs> uh, lowering down and staying there. So we're going to do it one more time just for practice. Once again, inhale forward, stacking shoulders. And exhale, elbows in, lower down to a 90 degree angle. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, curl the heart forward, upward facing dog. And exhale. Push back. And let's just come down to child's pose. Giving those wrists a rest here. Coming to rest. Inhale. And if it feels good to roll out the hands while the forehead rests on the ground. Press the fingertips into the ground and raising the wrists high in the air. Raising elbows off of the ground. Inhale and exhale. Inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift right leg to the sky. And exhale, open up the hips as if you're kicking a wall behind you. Inhale. And exhale. Step it through to a low lunge. And the knee can be grounded if you choose. Place the left hand on the ground. Open the right hand towards the sky. Open the heart towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Inhale, two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. And release the hand to the ground. 
And you can keep the knee raised or ground the knee and come to rise with the hands on the thigh or reaching hands towards the sky. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lifting the crown and lifting the heart. And exhale, opening, inviting a, a back bend in the upper back. Inhale, remembering to tuck the tailbone. And exhale, opening up the heart. Inhale, come to rise. And exhale, place the hands on the ground. Straighten that front leg. Begin to slide it forward uh, to prepare for Hanumanasana. Um, and you can stay in um, half Hanumanasana where you're um, keeping the hips high. And how about we, we come to that right now since we're really opening really opening up the, the thighs here. You can use blocks or books if that helps you reach the ground here. I always like to use blocks here. Um, but otherwise, you can always bring the hands to the ground. Lengthening the crown and exhale, folding in. Inhale. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, coming to rise, and if you are taking the invitation to move towards Hanumanasana, begin to slide that right foot forward. And if you're on a hard, like a hardwood floor or tile floor, um, like to use a towel or a blanket to place the heel on and allow it to slide across the floor to deepen into the pose. Inhale, lengthening, growing tall, and exhale. Seeing if we might go a little bit deeper with each round of breath. Going to your edge and really being an observer here, exploring our bodies at our edge and Acknowledging where we are without blowing past it. Remaining within safe boundaries. And playing there. Inhale. And exhale. Begin to slide that foot back. Come to all fours and press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the left foot to the sky. And exhale, open the hips. Inhale. And exhale, step it through to a low lunge. Knee grounded or lifted, plant the right hand on the ground. Open the left hand and the heart to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, 
three. Inhale and plant that hand on the ground. And you can stay here with the knee lifted if you want to go. Or um, more fire in the pose. Or ground the knee. Whatever serves you in this moment right now. With hands on the thigh. Or reaching the hands to the sky. Inhale, lengthening the crown towards the sky. And exhale, opening the heart. Gazes to the sky. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, open. Inhale, rise, and exhale, bring the hands to the ground. Straighten that front leg, folding forward over a straight leg. Inhale, exhale, really feeling the hamstring begin to open up, being gentle with ourselves here. Inhaling and exhaling, remembering Sama Vritti breathing. And when you're ready, uh, come to rise. If you have blocks, grab your blocks or books. Or fingertips can be on the ground. And begin to slide that foot forward. Whether if you're using a towel or just sliding it across the mat. I'm going to use the towel. <laughs> Inhale. Tall. And exhale. We might sink a little bit deeper. Meeting ourselves at our edge with kindness and acceptance and being an explorer here. Inhale, bring the foot back. Exhale, plant the hands on the ground. Inhale, and exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Let's see how much time do I have? Finding ourselves here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach the left leg to the sky. And exhale, step it through. Uh, pivot that right foot down to be parallel with the back edge of the mat. And cartwheel the hands up to Warrior Two, Vera Vajrasana Two. Inhale, equal distribution in both the front and back leg. And allow this knee to be stacked directly over the ankle or behind the ankle, but not going forward towards the toes. So stacking the knee here, tucking the tailbone, bringing the shoulders down and away from the ears. 
feeling those shoulder blades come together towards each other on the back. Inhale, strong in the core. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, peaceful warrior, bringing the left hand up and back behind us. Inhale, gaze at the fingertips. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, straighten that front leg. Inhale and exhale, pour forward. Bring right hand, left hand to the leg, a block or the ground. Whatever will allow you to open up the heart towards the sky, reaching the hands towards the sky in Utita Trikonasana. So it's not so important if you can reach your toes or reach the ground um, to engage with this pose. The important thing is to open the heart towards the sky. Inhale. Inhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, come to rise, and exhale, um, come forward once again as if we're moving into Utita Trikonasana and bringing the right hand over the right ear. You can stay here, but then also raise the left hand towards the sky as if we're holding a beach ball. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, gaze at fingertips. Exhale two. Inhale, exhale, three, and release the hand to the ground. Uh, cartwheel the hands up, bend in that left knee, and bring the left hand down to the ground or to a block <clears throat> inside the left leg. Bring right fingertips over past the ear, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, and you can stay here, take the bind, reaching the right hand behind, and reaching the left hand underneath the thigh grabbing uh, on to uh, clasp the hands and once again opening the heart towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Release the bind. Plant the hands on the ground. Step that foot back to downward facing dog. Or child's pose, because that was a challenging series. So always feel free to rest when the body is calling you to rest. Remembering. From the Yoga Sutra, Sthira Sukham Asanam, a steady, joyful connection to our practice.
to the earth, to each other, and all that we do to ourselves. <laughs> Breathe. Remembering to keep the breath steady and joyful, even as the body is moving through challenging positions. Inhale forward, stack shoulders. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Inhale and reach the right leg to the sky. I'm just going to swap this up here. And exhale, step it through. Pivot the back foot down to be perpendicular with the front foot, parallel with the back edge of the mat. Cartwheel the hands up to Vera Vajrasana, two warriors. Two, inhale. Exhale, strong in the core, tailbone tucked. Inhale, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, gaze over fingertips. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, peaceful warrior, reaching right hand back behind gaze at fingertips and the hand can be resting on the leg or reaching behind to grab the right thigh inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale rise and exhale, straighten that front leg. Pour forward, Utita Trikonasana. Bringing hand to leg, block or ground. Open the heart and gaze towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale and reach the left hand out past the ear. And you can stay here or liberate that right hand. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, bring the hand to the ground, exhale, come to rise, steady breath, and I know I'm talking, so my breath might not be following yours, but remembering to keep the breath steady. Inhale, tall in the spine, reaching the crown towards the sky. And exhale, bend in that right knee, bringing the hand to the ground. Inside the right foot, or on a block, or on the thigh. Of course, this is always an option. Bringing left hand past the ear, gaze at fingertips, inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two, opening the heart towards the sky, inhale, exhale three, Inhale and reach 
the left hand towards the sky. And you can keep it here, reaching towards the sky, or take the bind, reaching that hand behind the thigh and reaching the right hand to clasp it. Inhale, opening up the heart. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, release the bind if you have the bind. And exhale, bring the left hand to the ground. Step back to child's pose or down with facing dog. Inhale, look towards the fingertips, and exhale, you can either step or hop the feet forward. Folding forward and Uttanasana. Feel free to put a deep bend in the knees or use blocks to help you reach the ground. It's all good. Our first forward fold of the day. Grounding. And as we fold deeper into ourselves, we may find that we can straighten the legs a little bit more. Just allowing whatever our body, uh, whatever state our body is in, allowing it to be here. chair pose and stay here with the fingertips on the ground inhale exhale or inhale reach the hands towards the sky exhale one inhale exhale two inhale Exhale, three, inhale, hands in prayer, and exhale, come to rise, four, Tadasana. Standing here in mountain pose, the feet can be hip width distance apart, or you might bring the toes to touch. Uh, but imagine that if you have a block, or if you don't, imagine that you're squeezing a block between your legs, really activating the legs, squeezing them together towards each other, tucking the tailbone, shoulders fall away from the ears, inhale, exhale. 
Inhale, reach the hands towards the sky. And exhale, swan dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, bring the hands to clasp behind the sacrum. Folding in. Exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the seat to chair pose. With hands clasped, inhale. Exhale. And now moving once again with the flow on the inhale, dropping into chair pose, lengthening the spine, and exhale, straighten the legs, folding in. Inhale, chair pose. What? Yeah. And exhale, folding in. Inhale, rise. Reach the hands towards the sky. And exhale, come to rise. Straight legs. Inhale, reach hands towards the sky. Hook the thumbs. And exhale, drop the hands over to the right side. Once again, moving with the flow. Inhale, reaching to the sky through center. And exhale, falling over to the left side. Inhale. Rise and exhale, fall over to the opposite side. Once again, moving at the rhythm of your own steady and joyful breath. Inhale and exhaling, moving through. And at the top of your next inhale, reach the hands towards the sky. And exhale, hands in prayer. And to rest at the side for Tadasana. And if you have a strap, grab your strap here. And loop it through the left foot. And uh, bringing the right hand to the hip, reach that left foot out in front. Um, if you have a strap, uh, you can use it as an um, extension of your arm to grab the foot. But if it's accessible to you, you can grab Yogi Toe Lock here and reach that foot out in front. If you don't have a strap, then you can hold on to the leg wherever your hand meets it there. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three. And also remember, use another great prop is the wall. <laughs> so if you have a wall nearby, you can uh, hold on to that or a chair um, to help as your safety net with your balance. But from here, begin to open that uh, left foot out to the side. I'll get back to where I was here. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale, exhale, three, bring it back to center, and exhale, release. <laughs> so this, this is our balance practice, and um, everybody's at different stages in their practice and where their muscle memory is. <laughs> so I've been doing this for a little while, so my muscle memory um, 
is uh, allows me to um, return to center um, for, from a different point as compared to 10 years ago, you know, when I started practicing more than 10 years ago. So you play where you play. And if that means holding on to something and letting go for a second here and there, seeing where you can let go, go for it. Same with um, what's accessible in terms of how you reach um, your leg or your foot. So shifting weight into the left foot, grounding down at all four corners of the foot. I play with raising the toes off of the ground. So you really feel that sense of grounding in the sole of the foot. And with that, you can grab your strap. Bring the knee into the chest. Or if yogi toe lock is accessible, grab yogi toe lock. And begin to straighten that leg out. And take whatever modification works for you in your balance practice now. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. And begin to open that leg out to the side. Inhale. And you can also reach that hand out to the side. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Bring it back to center and exhale, release. Inhale, reach the hands towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the heart and gaze halfway. And exhale, fold in. Inhale and drop the seat. Come to the ground. However you get there, bring the feet together in a Baddha Konasana, letting those knees fall towards the earth. Lengthening the crown. And exhale, folding in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come to rise. And exhale, straighten those legs out in front and your option um, for a Pashimottanasana folding forward or um, wide-legged forward fold, whatever your legs are <coughs> calling you to do right now. You choose, inhale, lengthening the crown tall and exhale, folding forward. going to our own edge, which is individual for each of us. That means knees being bent 
or sitting straight up, wherever your edge is. Inhale, come to rise, and exhale, begin to lower. Um, you can plant the feet and lower the vertebrae down to the ground. To prepare for Shavasana. Take whatever final pose feels good to you. If that's uh, happy baby, grabbing hold to the feet or dropping the knees down to the side and the shoulder down for a twist in the low back. And if you're taking any um, twists, make sure you do. The same thing on the opposite side. Just do what feels good for you right now to close the practice. And when you're ready, bring the feet down to the ground and then allow them to fall open. Allow the palms to fall open towards the sky. For Shavasana. Letting everything go. Letting go of thought. Letting go of past and future. Of ego. And of center. individual, you know, psyche of all the stories that we have of who we are, letting everything go. And you can stay in Shavasana for however long feels right. I will take this opportunity to say thank you for joining me today. May you have a beautiful day and know that everything counts to show up in whatever state you may be in. Everywhere there are wonders. Namaste.